Hi guys, Kjack here. The other day I did a video about how you could use a one-time Arts and Acuity Farm to give yourself a big boost, to give yourself a head start in the profession game in the war within. This time I have a weekly farm for you where you can get up to 1,000 Arts and Acuity. This has allowed my crafters and gatherers to get all rare profession gear as well as buy all the knowledge books which has been really useful in making millions and millions of gold at the start of this expansion. I will do a quick recap of Artisan's Acuity from last time. So we get five Artisan's Acuity every time we gain a knowledge point in the war within. I've been getting a lot of comments about not getting Artisan's Acuity from first time crafts. You do get Artisan's Acuity from first time crafts, but only if it's a recipe that has not come from a trainer. So the goal today then, to be able to farm as much Artisan Security weekly as possible is to get as much profession knowledge as possible and we're going to be doing that across multiple professions. So like in the video I did last time about the one-time farms, you do need to have a free profession slot to be able to do this. Let's start with the casual easy stuff first. So you, in your free profession slot you're going to go and you're going to pick up Herbalism. This bit's nice here because you're actually making gold while you're doing the Artisan Security farm. So at this point, you're going to fly around and you're going to pick herbs until you get to 25 herbalism skill, which is a minimum. And you also need to pick up all the weekly knowledge items for herbalism. So you should get five blue ones that give plus one knowledge. And then after that, you'll get an epic one that's going to give you plus four knowledge. Once you have done both of those, so you have the five rare profession knowledge items, the one epic profession knowledge item, and you also have at least 25 herbalism skill you are then going to go back to town. At this point, you can use all the profession knowledge items, which will give you 45 artisan security. Also, because you now have 25 skill, you can also pick up the weekly quest from the herbalism trainer. This is basically just going to be hand in some herbs. Hopefully the herbs he asks for is something that you've just farmed in the process of doing this. But if not, you may have to buy them off the auction house, but you should still make a profit from this. So from doing the weekly quest, that's going to give us another free herbalism profession knowledge. So this is going to take us to 60 artisan security so far just from doing this little farm. Next part is really optional and a bit try hard I think but because you have 25 herbalism skill if you want to you could actually use a treatise of herbalism here. So that's going to give you one more knowledge point and five more artisan security but this is going to cost you basically at least a thousand gold. So this part's completely optional and it does make the whole process a bit more expensive. Next, we are going to drop herbalism and then we're going to go to the mining trainer. Pick up mining and you guessed it, you're going to go around, you're going to hit some rocks. Just like with herbalism, you want to get the five rare profession knowledge drops and then the epic one. And you need at least 25 mining skill again. And the process is exactly the same. Go back to town, use all the knowledge items, do the weekly quest. And once again, you're going to get a nice amount of artisan security from doing all that. And hopefully, from a gold perspective, you've actually made some profit here. I'm actually doing this on my dual gatherer here, my mining herbalism character. I did the mining and herbalism parts together that you've just seen. Then I dropped herbalism to cycle through the rest of the professions that we're going to go through. Now, this is annoying, having to drop herbalism every single week and re-level it up. Because obviously, the quality of the herbs you're going to be collecting in the meantime are going to be crap. But, but it's worth it to give your professions a huge long-term buff in knowledge and getting those rare profession tools so it's going to increase your gold per hour in the long term to take that little bit of a hit in the short term. Okay, next up is skinning and I hate this part. So just like with the other gathering professions, you need to go out, kill stuff and skin. Now, I did this solo and it took freaking decades, okay? You do this in a farming group, then it should be absolutely fine. It shouldn't take you long at all. But it took me absolutely freaking ages. Skinning is worse than mining and herbalism because what you're getting from doing it doesn't sell for a lot at all. And on top of that, the epic consumable weekly knowledge item only gives two profession knowledge. So you're actually getting less artisan security per week from doing it as well. Just like with the other gathering professions, once you have the weekly knowledge items, use them all up, like we said, five artisan security per knowledge, do the weekly quest and then drop the profession because we're moving on again. 
Next up, we're doing enchanting, and this is where it may start costing you a little bit of gold. So basically, to get the weekly knowledge for enchanting, we need to disenchant items to get weekly knowledge drops like with the other gathering professions. So you're going to disenchant until you've got the five blue and the one purple knowledge drops, and then you can stop disenchanting at that point. Use all the items to get the weekly knowledge, and it's another chunk of artisan security. So at this point so far, just with what we've done, you should have over 200 artisan security for the week. I'm going to quickly talk about something that isn't something you can do weekly, but it's something that's well worth doing at least once, and I talked about it in the last video, and that's the glimmers with enchanting, because this is a huge amount of artisan security for doing hardly anything. So in order to do this, you need to get to 25 enchanting skill. But hopefully, you are quite away there just from doing the weekly. Now, once we have that 25 skill, we need to unlock the deceptive decorations tree, and this is going to unlock the gleeful glamours. And every single one of these that we craft is going to give us five artisan security, and there's 23 of them to craft as you go through the tree and unlock them all. Just as importantly as the one-time bonus it's giving us, because we unlock these, these actually unlock as patron orders as well, and they are really easy patron orders, and you can usually get 50 to 60 artisan security a week just from doing the patron orders on these items. So it's well worth doing once for the unlock, for the amount of artisan security it gives you, and then for the weekly amount it's going to give you every single week as well if you want to do it. Just remember that when you're looking at these patron orders and you see patron orders that are offering you profession knowledge as a reward, don't think of it as profession knowledge, think of it as artisan security. So if it's saying two profession knowledge for enchanting, for example, then that's actually 10 artisan security that you're going to get from it. Enchanting is basically the best artisan security farm profession in the game. So basically you can get a huge amount of one-off artisan security from doing all the gleeful glamour crafts then you're going to get a huge amount and then you can disenchant every single week which is the easiest way to get artisan security in the game and then you can do the patron orders for those as well so it's, enchanting is a really nice secondary profession if you can't be bothered to do all the messing around then it's really nice to have as a second profession on any character just to be able to farm the artisan security which is really easy to get from it so next up i'm going to talk about all the different crafting professions and I'm not going to talk about them individually because they are all basically the same. We're going to go through the same system and process with every single one of them. So a quick note here is I'm not 100% sure on how the patron orders and the weekly quest are unlocking on a character. So in early access, you did need quite high skill to be able to unlock the patron orders and the weekly quest as well. But that just doesn't seem to be the case anymore. In the last few days in particular, I've had characters picking up profession for the first time at one skill and they've had the weekly quest available and they've had patron orders available as well. Now hopefully when you do this and you are at one profession skill you will also have the patron orders available and that weekly quest as well but I cannot guarantee it because like I said the system just seems inconsistent. Now hopefully that works for you and everything unlocks at one skill but if not you're going to have to level up every single profession significantly to be able to do this. Now it is a large amount of artisan security but I don't think it's worth that much effort anymore. This is not a cheap process, markets are saturated, profit margins are getting really thin now, you're just not going to make your money back spending all that money to get your artisan security now. If it was me and the patron orders did not come up at one scale I just would not be doing them now. If they do come up at one scale then it's definitely worth having a look at, seeing what's available because you might be able to pick something up really, really cheap. And a cycle through the crafting professions one by one then. Each time you go to a trainer, training profession. Once you have done that, you're going to have to go back to try and pick up the weekly quest to do crafting orders. It may or it may not be available. Instead of that, you may have a quest where you have to go and visit your crafting table and then the profession trainer. Once you've done that, you can then go back and pick up the weekly quest to do crafting orders. So we have the weekly quest to do crafting orders. We are now going to go and have a look to see what patron orders are available for this crafting profession. This is where a huge amount of RNG comes in. Sometimes you will absolutely hit the jackpot and then sometimes it will just be absolute crap. So you should always have patron orders available for both profession knowledge 
and add some security. It's just a case of how much effort they take to do. You can see this is one ear I did earlier. So this was a fresh character picking up alchemy for the first time. One profession skill and he has four patron orders for healing potions, which he already knows. So for doing those four quests, he got a total of 80 artisans acuity for less than 1,000 gold, and that just took a couple of minutes. Because he picked up the work order weekly quest as well, he's also done the patron order, so he's completed that weekly quest as well. So basically, overall, he's got about 100 artisans acuity for less than 1,000 gold and maybe two to three minutes of work. So it's well worth having a quick look at that one in particular, just to quickly blast through it. Now, some of the other potions require much higher skill to do, to do some of the other patron orders, so I'm not going to bother with those. I'm just going to do those. But if you really wanted to, if you really wanted to push and get that 1,000 items of QT a week, you could literally clear out the patron orders on every single profession. But it's just a case of how much it's actually worth it, from your perspective, to get that done. That was the best case scenario, though. A lot of the time, you're going to need slightly higher skill to be able to do the patron orders and that's more basically because you need to unlock the recipes but a lot of them have come from trainer recipes so you don't have to mess about with anything else you just need to get the profession skills sometimes to be able to finish those particular patron orders so just so you aware, if you are unable to do a recipe it does say recipe online if you hover over it it will tell you where it comes from so as long as it comes from the, from the profession trainer and the skills not too high then maybe you can skill up a little bit just to be able to do these particular patron orders. So when it comes to the patron orders, the big targets you are looking for is the one that give you 30 arts and security. There's usually two of these available. So if you can do both of those 30 arts and security patron orders, plus a couple that give 10 or profession knowledge, and then in the process of doing that, you've done the weekly quest as well. So you get nearly 100 arts and security just from doing that per profession. Additionally, if you are really really desperate for more arts and security what you can actually do is every time you pick up a new profession you could actually go and farm the profession treasures for that profession every single week now i never really bothered with this i had enough hassle getting these profession treasures every week just on the characters that i actually wanted to craft with so i never bothered with that but that is something else you could do if you wanted even more arts and security Personally, the patron orders that I tend to go for are the ones that are cheaper, easier to level professions. So things like tailoring, level working, quite easy, cheap. So if you do have one that says all oh, 25 tailoring skill, then I'm quite happy to blast that up a little bit, especially if it's the 30 arts and security ones. If it comes to sort of engineering, alchemy, I'm not messing about leveling those. Like I say, if you want to get that 1000 arts and security a week, it is possible, but it's gonna be expensive, time consuming and you can get so close to that figure with barely hardly any effort and quite cheap really. Overall though if the patron orders and the weekly quest are popping for you at one profession skill then I really do think it's worth cycling through the professions and seeing what's available. You might hit the jackpot like I did with the alchemy, 100 arts and security but hardly any effort and any gold whatsoever and you'll probably find that happens a couple of times. So this is the general outline on how you can make up to 1,000 arts and security per week if you really want to. Cycle through all the gathering professions, grabbing all the items, doing the weekly quests. When it comes to the crafting professions, you're going to do the weekly quest and the patron orders. And from this, you can get 1,000 arts and security a week. That is basically a general outline on how you can pick up 1,000 arts and security a week. You're going to cycle through the gathering professions, grab all those weekly knowledge items, use those to get the arts and security, do the weekly quest. Then when it comes to the crafting professions, you're gonna do the weekly patron order quest, as well as doing as many patron orders, especially the ones that give 30 each. And from that, you can get huge amounts of arts and security. So you can get all your knowledge books, all your rare profession tools, and all your characters. Like I said, though, it is quite a lot of effort. I'm not sure how much it's worth doing this now, but it is available if you guys want to give it a go. Please leave a like and subscribe if this video helped you out. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.